the late afternoon, just before dark, uh, one of the old dogs and two of the puppies jumped the deer. Uh, the old dog came back, but the two puppies didn't come back. They got lost. So I built up a fire and sat waiting on them, and they didn't come back. About 12 o'clock uh, at night, I heard somebody shoot up in the direction that I heard the two young dogs uh, last running. So I figured somebody had shot my dog for uh, a deer or something like that. So I cranked up my buggy and uh, headed up in that direction with my headlight on. So I had gone about a mile probably and I saw this light up about 300 foot in the air above the cypress tree. So I sat there for a little bit and I watched it go. Uh, first, when I first saw it, it was going northeast. And I lost it. I couldn't see it any longer. And a little bit before it came back to where I had it, uh, almost originally seen it. The thing was a cone shape. And it was a, approximately 32 or 33 foot high. And I'll explain to you how I can get those measurements later on. But uh, it started from the, from the bottom of it. It's, as I say, on a cone shape. About 16 foot up, it started with a tier of windows. And above that tier of windows was another tier of windows. Above that one was another tier of windows. Above that one was another tier of windows. There was four tier of windows, and from the top tier of windows to the cone top of it was about eight foot. From, a, from around those windows was a dull yellow light, like you'd have a bulb outside to ward off mosquitoes or something like that. The light didn't shine directly out. It shone down beside the ship. From around the base of the ship was a, a deep red light, like from the exhaust, which is where the exhaust came from. So I sat there and watched it for about... I'd say from 30 to 40 minutes, I cranked up, turned on my light, and headed on up to the ship. But as a, one of my dogs left, it had come back within the buggy, and he started howling and carrying on so until I shut the buggy off about 250 yards from it, got off, and walked on up to the ship. And as I was standing there, just about, the light was just coming over the top of my head. I was approximately uh, 75 from 80 foot. The light was coming... I was standing in the light at the bottom of the ship. Wind from the from the ship was just uh, something like would come from uh, a jet or something that you were standing by. I was having difficulty standing up even at that distance from it. Well, I stood there about a half a minute, looking up to where the windows were, and I waved, and nothing didn't happen. I stood there probably another half a minute and waved again. And that's the last thing that I know. Some kind of a light that came from just beneath the bottom tier of windows looked like a sharp central light about six inches long, about the size of a pencil. Struck me and hit me right between the eyes. Never even answer any of our letters. 